I'm gonna do the transmission fluid filter and gasket change down here underneath Lady T. Uh, like 20 bolts on the pan, drain the fluid, change the gasket, and hope all goes smooth and quickly. All right, so we're dripping. Not as fast as I would like, but it's the best we can do because we don't really have a huge drip pan. And the fact that there's 20 bolts that this stuff could leak out of. So we just got one end dripping right now. Got three buckets down here. This could take a while. So we got the pan off. And uh, we wonder why it was dripping so slow. Thought maybe the the seal created a good suction, but it was a I missed a bolt on the other end, on that end. Once I took that out, it started flowing real good. So we got the 20 bolts off. And what is under here for the filter is just what I was, I don't know, expecting or hoping for, which is a short tube when I believe we have the deep pan. So. So we got the four buckets here. Didn't really fill them up. Uh, that metal one in the middle there got the most. So we're just gonna let it drip here for a while. So if you've never seen the inside of a transmission, I've never seen it. Here's your dipstick here that goes all the way up to the under the hood. That's why they're so long. Here's your fluid filter here. It goes up in there. And this sucks the, sucks the fluid up into the filter, into the transmission, circulates and does all that good stuff. So part of our, what we think part of our problem is, can I see the new filter? Yep. Is that this pan requires a deep uh, downspout. So you can kind of see the two together, one short, one long. which could cause the yeah, the uh, transmission, especially on inclines, not to take up enough fluid and possibly um, slip or shift hard or come out of gear, which is all the things it was doing. So hopefully with the, the sensor I put on yesterday and the changing of the fluid, not really the changing of the fluid, the fluid is almost brand new, but I really wanted to change, check those filter um, from people I've talked to um, so that could be a part of the problem. So we're going to let this drip for a while, see if we can't get this filter off and a new one on. Uh, we'll be back. Going. So I, I, I don't know what happened to the original ending of this video. Uh, I can't remember if I shot some footage or not, but uh, anyway. So come to find out that we took the pan off Drained the fluid, took the pan off, took the gasket off, took the filter out, and everything was normal. We had the shallow pan with the shallow filter, uh, proper gasket, good clean fluid. So other than gaining the experience of draining the fluid and getting into the transmission, it really wasn't needed uh, in the end. Uh, I don't think it has any bearing or effect on our transmission issue, but it was a good experience to learn. Um, maybe we'll do it again in a, you know, 50,000 miles or whatever and replace the pan with a deeper pan and a deeper filter with a drain plug. There was no drain plug on that pan, so removing 20 bolts and trying to catch all the fluid as it spilled out was quite fun. Anyway, uh, again, it, it didn't really have any effect on the transmission problem. Uh, the, the main reason for getting in there was to determine if the filter was correct and the pan was correct. I've seen some pictures on the internet and in talking to people and doing some research and there really wasn't anything to compare a deep pan with a with a shallow pan side by side and have it um, be definitive to make a decision 
on which one we had. You know, I, I took a picture of ours, couldn't really compare it to deep pans online, just really couldn't get an angle. So the main reason was to get in and determine what we had. So we did have the shallow pan and the proper filter and a good gasket and clean fluid. As the fluid was changed not, you know, not more than a year ago, uh, not even a year ago, uh, we kept the same filter in there since I didn't have a new shallow filter to put in. Uh, we did replace the gasket and the fluid uh, and the filter, like I said, was less than a year old, so we just kept that in. Anyway, uh, that's the ending to that video. I don't know what happened to it. I probably deleted it or didn't even take footage once I re realized that we were doing it for nothing. Uh, but we really, it wasn't nothing. It was just the experience anyway. So you can check out the video prior to this for the transmission range sensor and this video for you know the transmission fluid. Uh, that's how you would do it if you just needed to do it anyway. But uh, I'm going to do another video, a little update video, because we have taken Lady T out on some trips and it's been a couple of months since we did the work. So, uh, you know, have a look at that and, you know, we'll see you on the road.